Hi there, this is Tammy. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm filming with an, a tablet today instead of my computer and it all looks different. It, and I apologize for the glare of my glasses. I don't know how to not have it. Um, maybe this will work okay. I'm not sure. We'll see. But see this, that weird glare? There's a window right there. And Anyway, enough of that. Welcome back to my channel. I am here doing a floss tube. Uh, my channel is Tammy's Crafty Life and I do all different kinds of craft videos. Well, not all different kinds. I do paper crafts and I do cross stitch. Sometimes I do some sewing. I also do jewelry videos. Um, so today is a floss tube video. So this is floss tube number six. So thank you for coming back. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far and that you'll enjoy this one. But my hair is funky today, sorry. I tried this morning to make it look good and it my hair does what it wants. Anyway, sorry. Um, so what I have for you today is some finishes. Well, one finish and one semi-finish. And I have some whips and some starts. I have some haul. I have some fabric that I dyed. Um, and I'm going to insert a little clip showing how I use floss drops, which I think will be fun. So I'm going to start by showing you my finish and then my semi-finish. My finish is I am participating in the Fat Quarter Shop Stitch Along that is called Stitchography. And this is the pattern. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, that quarter shop is selling this wooden plaque that you can finish it on. I'm not going to do mine that way. Um, and the one thing I changed is I changed two colors of floss. I really don't like red, so I switched red for purple. There was no purple in here, and if you know me, you know there has to be purple. And then I didn't care for the orange color they had, so I changed that orange to a yellow. So you'll see that in my finish. <coughs> Here is my picture. I think with the purple it really pops. I think it's beautiful. Um, and then one thing I changed was right here there was a little symbol in there. It was just a cross stitch symbol and I added my initials and the year. So this turned out a lot of, I think it turned out beautiful. This is going to be a project bag. I'm going to find some purple fabric um, I don't want to try to find something with all the colors in it, so I'm going to find some purple fabric to go with it, and this will be a project bag. Um, my other partial finish is Stitch Again Sam. I apologize for the noise of the dog in the background. As soon as I start talking, he starts making noise, running around, being weird. Um, pretty soon you'll hear him trying to play with his little brother. Anyway, Stitch Again Sam is doing this stitch along that is from this Emma Congdon book. And this is a seasonal stitch along, like a seasonal sampler. She um, started each season, is starting each season on the first day of that season. So she's already done spring and then she started summer on the first day of summer. And I started mine on the first day of summer. So what I've finished is just summer. And then I want to show you, so on the first day of fall, which is next week, I'm going to start the fall section. And it has this spider in it. I hate spiders. I'm not putting a spider in my picture. I am not. Spiders give me nightmares. So I'm thinking, I'm going to start by looking in my flea market flowers pattern and see if there's a flower that will fit in there. If not, I'll find something else to put in there. Maybe something like this up here. We'll see. So let me show you my partial finish. So here is my partial finish. This dog is going to make me nuts. This is my summer part. And I had a lot of fun stitching this because you have blocks of color, but then you're switching to another color or like there's a ton of green on here, but there's like six or eight colors of green. So this was a lot of fun to stitch. I went ahead and put this whole thing in here because I didn't want to do only half of it. And I put the bird up there. So I have a little bit of a head start on my fall section. So that was a lot of fun. I'm stitching this on 14 count white Ada. Boring, boring, boring fabric. But 
it's full coverage, so it's not going to matter. Um, next, I'll show you my fabric that I dyed. There are two YouTube channels that I watch them do demonstrations on how to um, dye fabric. And I apologize, my eyes are not, because I switched, I switched where I'm, what I'm filming with, and I don't know where my, to look so that my eyes are looking right at the camera. That is really weird. Very strange. Maybe it needs to be farther away from me or something. I'm not sure. I'm using, so I, as I said, I'm using a tablet. So, um, Crafty Cottage Stitches and I think Situation Normal are the ones that I watched. How to dye fabric with Rit Dye. And it was a lot of fun. So here's my first one. This one, um, the first two that I did, I just did purple. And I didn't do it totally right, so this ended up all white. So then I did a, another batch of dye and put it back in, and that's how I got that. Where this was white, it's now light purple. In the same batch, I did this one. I like the modeling on this one a lot. This is 18 count. And then this fabric is the blue... Hobby Lobby 28 count fabric that I had extra of and the first time it came out where the light spots you could still see blue this was why I put it all back in with a lighter color so that all the light on all three pieces is purple I think it's really pretty and then and I did pink and my first batch of pink was way too dark this is my first batch it's pretty but it's very very dark so I'm not sure what I'm gonna put on it what I'll do with it but it is very pretty and then my second batch of pink this is a scrap it's only like five inches wide but this is it and I really like the way the modeling came out on this so I need to find some smalls to do on this to use this fabric sorry my dog is making me crazy and then this was an ivory colored bread basket napkin thing that I have I've had forever and it turned out kind of splotchy instead of mottled but it's a lighter pink and it's really pretty it's a 14 count and then I played with green and the I forgot to say that um, country cottage stitches Heather and Jeanette, Jeanette they explain that you can go to the writ dye website and find um, uh, recipes for color. So I went there and I found this green color. This is called aphid green and it has a little bit of modeling but I don't think it shows very well on the camera. I did iron this too but it just looks wrinkled. And then this is a bigger piece. These are both 18 count. And then I did one where, um, after I got rid of the aphid green dye, I did just a darker green all by itself and put this one in there. And this one has some beautiful modeling on it. I'm not sure what I will stitch on this, but I will find something. And this is not coming across the right color. This is a bright, pretty green. Um, it looks kind of drab on the video, but it's a bright, pretty green. So that was my dyeing experience. It was a lot of fun and quick and easy. I really enjoyed it. Um, so then the next thing I want to share is when I first started doing these videos, um, I had told you that I pulled out all the cross stitch pictures I used to have and I was missing one. And I came across it the other day. I was cleaning out. It's a very long story of why I was doing what I was doing. But a place in my bedroom and I came across it. And I actually thought I had it three quarters done but I didn't. Um, it's this kitty picture. I thought I had started here and worked my way around. I started in the middle so I just have part of this, well, I have the cat and then part of the flowers done. And this is it. It was driving me crazy that I couldn't find this because I knew it had to be in the house somewhere. So I was very glad to find it. This is on 8 looks like 18 counts 8 o'clock 
and um, right now is where I'm going to insert the video showing how I use the floss drops and then I'll be back after that. Okay here I am I'm going to show you how I do my how I use floss drops. Um, I used to do all my embroidery floss like this bobbinate it and then to use it you had to unwrap a length which this one might already be unwrapped or might already be cut off maybe nope you would unwrap a length cut it off and then pull out two strands to stitch with and then wrap it all back on here and you can see how your thread kinks which makes it not more easily so what I do now is I have this is an Annie's keeper it's probably hard to see because it's clear plastic but um, these are hard to find and you can make your own floss drops these ha are an organizing system that I absolutely love um, so I take my floss and there is usually an end sticking out of each side of the floss but you always want to pull from the bottom of the big label if you try to go the other way you're going to tangle so I just pull it out and keep pulling until you have the whole thing oops and if that happens which only usually happens when I'm in a big fat hurry I just make sure I hold it in my hand um, and I can feel it's tangling a little bit sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't and here's my other end then what I do is I take both ends this is eight yards of floss. I take both ends and I'm, I am having them. I'm folding them in half. So I've got both pieces here. And if you've done this um, gently, carefully, you have your floss is laying in a pile that doesn't really tangle. Every now and then I get a huge tangled mess, but not very often. So there's my the middle. I'm going to put that there and I'm going to do a half again. And so I have actually folded this in half twice, so that's quarters. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to snip, I'm going to snip this. And then at the other end, I'm going to pull it up and I'm going to snip this. So what I have is eight pieces that are each one yard long. I am then going to put it on my floss drop. And um, you've seen in a previous video, or I also made some of my own floss drops also. So I put this on here like this, and then I would put a label on there um, with the color number. This is 413, this is a gray color, and um, it's kind of funny. I was buying floss for like four different projects. I bought, I don't know, 120 skeins of floss or something, and I didn't have them give me a bag. I put it in my purse, I had a big purse, and then later when I went home, I'm like, oh, I missed a color. I don't have 413. And the other day, yesterday, I changed purses. This was hiding in the bottom. It was the same color as the bottom of my purse. And I didn't see it in there when I pulled out the rest. I had gone back and gotten it again. So then, um, these are a perfect length for me because when I stitch, I use the loop method. So I take a strand and I fold it in half. And let me, I want to show you how I get these off of here. Um, I have watched some people who take this all apart and take one off and then um, carefully pull one strand out and they set it aside and leave it that way. I was shown, I think it was Teresa Little Stitcher here on YouTube who showed this. And what you do is take your needle, and I don't know how hard this is going to be to see, but you just tease out one little strand. doesn't matter which part it's in. This is six strand embroidery floss and you just want one little strand. So I keep teasing, and I, if you can, I don't know if you can see this. I have just one strand sticking out, and then I'm going to pull it, and it comes out. And I didn't have to do anything to the rest of this. It, it just is. Um, and then I would thread it on my needle, and then when I'm done with it, if I didn't use the whole piece. I don't need this color for anything on a needle so then I could just go like this and stick it back in here until I need this color again 
So I'm putting this on here the same way I put the rest of it on there. So there that is. Um, I don't like mess, and when I did it this way, this was, it was, I did it for years because I didn't know any better. I'd never heard of floss drops. You know, it's been years, until recently it had been years since I'd cross-stitched. And I don't know that floss drops existed back then. Um, at one point I had all the colors in DMC, and then I had a friend who owned a needle shop in Newburgh, a town 30 miles away from here. And she had told me that Anchor was actually better floss, so I had switched to Anchor for some projects. And then DMC is okay with me. It's easier to get and there's more colors. So I went back to DMC. So I've been trying to um, slowly collect it again. Now that I have so many whips, I'm sure I have many skeins of, of many of the colors. Um, and as I finish projects, that's when I'll see what I have. So here is my old way. And this is my new way. These are floss drops. This is how I use floss drops. And this is how I avoid the mess. I uh, The only mess I end up with is my orts. And who came up with the word ort? I don't know if the letters stand for something, but my little ends that I throw away is the only mess that I have. Um, so this is how I use floss drops. And I'll get let you get back to the rest of my video. I hope you enjoyed this. And thanks so much for watching it. It was a lot of fun to make. And um, I've been wanting to share this for a while. Please let me know in the comments below if you would like to see anything about how cross stitch is done. There's a ton of different videos out there that show you how to cross stitch, but they may not be people you watch. So let me know if you would like to see that. And that is something that I can plan for. So thanks, and I'll let you get back. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it was fun to make. Now I will go through my starts. Um, September is my birthday month, so I had planned to start four different projects in September, one every week. The first one was on September 1st. I was starting a sampler. I've never done a sampler before, and people call September Sampler September. So this is a sampler I started on the 1st of September. It's the Leeds House Sampler. And it's really pretty. It's blue and green. And this is done with Sulky Floss. And this fabric, I do not remember what fabric, what the fabric is. But this is how far I've gotten. I've done, worked on three different days and each day I finished a letter. It's, it might be hard to see in the video. Each letter is actually a different color of blue. This one is variegated and the other two are solid, but this is darker and that's lighter. And then the next one is even lighter that I haven't gotten to yet. So that was my first start for September. That was a scheduled start. My second one was, where did the book go? It's called Plum Pudding. Sorry, this is my fourth, fourth time doing the video. And mostly because of dogs, dog issues. Found it. This is it. It is purple. It is beautiful. It's called Plum Pudding and it's by Glendon Place. And it has beads in it. Everywhere you see these little tiny circles are these teardrops. There's beads in there. Are these teeny tiny circles? So that will be fun. Right now I've just done part of one corner. I absolutely love this. This is done with silk floss. It's called Dinky Dyes. And the two that are in the outer border are the palest of all of the colors. So this is how far I got. I worked on this one day and did one, one of the corner frames. It was quick and easy. Um, Vicki, the Virginia Stitcher, I watched her video like right before I started this. It was a game changer for me. She said she found this from another YouTuber. When you are needing to go across a lot of stitches, this was 72 stitches. 71 stitches. Um, you do half crosses and every tenth one do a full cross. And then when you're trying to count, you can count by tens instead of by ones. And it was much easier to figure out that I, when I got to 71 
when I did it that way. And then I came back and did my second, the top part of my cross. So thank you, for, uh, Vicki. That was a game changer for me. This fabric is Sprite by Picture This Plus. I got this from 123 Stitch. And it's really pretty. The color is pretty accurate on here. So this is a lot of fun to stitch on. They're all fun. Well, who am I kidding? I just really love to stitch. And I'd rather do that than anything else these days. So, I don't know. Um, my second start for September. That was my second start. So my third start was today. Um, and it is... It is... I apologize for being so disorganized, but as I said, this is my fourth time filming this video. Hopefully. My third start that I started this morning is Mother Elephant and Son. This pattern either came from Etsy or Amazon. I cannot remember which one. But... It, it, I've one, I've been wanting to do an elephant picture, and I really like this one. So this is Elephant Mother and Son. I started it this morning. I worked at it for an hour or so. And this is how far I've gone. This is, you can't tell what it is, but this is, um, I'm starting, I started in the middle. So it's the mom's armpit here, and then I'm starting the little baby elephant. This fabric came with the kit, and it's very narrow. I'm thinking I'm going to have like an, only an inch on each side. Um, so I started in the middle instead of at the top. So that is elephant mother and son. My other plan for September, I want, well, I have two more. Uh, one of them is to start the fall part of the Emma Congdon um, stitch along and I'm going to do that on the first day of fall which is next week and then my last one is blue gold macaws I did this um, I bought this pattern because of my husband because he loves big birds so I thought this would be a perfect month to start this this is another full coverage which makes me with three or four full coverage so Gonna take a long time to finish all these full coverage pictures. <clears throat> so then for my other starts that I did this month, um, where'd that card go? I was cleaning out some stuff the other day and I came across this greeting card that I had bought with this cute giraffe on it. I don't know where I bought it. It's in a seal sealed in plastic, it's got a price tag, so I bought it in a store. And it reminded me that I have this kit I got from Bothy Threads. And I had really wanted to start working on it, so I started it. And I'll show you how far I've gotten on it. I like that this fabric looks like it's splattered with paint, which is a lot of fun. So this is his ear, and then up at the top of the two little horns, and then part of his face. This went really fast and was fun to stitch. This is only like two evenings of stitching. Um, let's see. Other thing that I started. Gotta find it. Gotta find it. Is Temperature Typography by Stitchin' Mommy, who is Sarah. She has an Etsy shop and she has several different temperature patterns. And I really like the looks of this one. So I'm doing this one. Um, I had started it on 28 count Lugana doing one over one and I just couldn't do it. So I switched to 18 count. I started it over. When I started it over I started in the middle. So I started with August and then did the part of September that we have so far which I have a couple more days now I can put on there and then I'm working my way up. So you can see we had a hot summer. We're still having heat. A lot of red in July and August, June too. This is a lot of fun um, to stitch. 
you're doing a lot of switching of colors, but it is a lot of fun to stitch. Uh, let's see. Yeah, another thing I started that was not on my list is I have bought this pattern from Heaven and Earth Designs. And I've been really wanting to work on it. So I went ahead and did it. I bought all the floss. It has 84 colors of floss. So I had to buy half of them. And I did that. And I started it. I'm stitching it on 25 count easy count fabric. This is my start. And this right here is the width of one page. So I did one line all the way across and then I'm stitching in this block here. Um, the fun part about this pattern is how it's in sections with each book being a different section. And you can see there's dark that goes all the way across the top. So it's going to be easy to stitch it in sections. I'm anxious to get like the first whole page done to see what the whole page looks like. But that's a page width and then the page height is like this tall. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat is getting dry. I think that might be all the things I started in September. <clears throat> things I worked on. I worked on my Cabernet grapes and I'm not going to show that because I only did a little bit and you can't see. There's too much confetti where I'm stitching and I put in several threads but you can't tell by looking a difference from last time. Another thing I worked on since last time is Butterfly Whispers. This is from a Stony Creek magazine. I think it's beautiful. I had bought the bell pole but decided I don't want to use it. So I'm doing it on this blue fabric. I cannot remember what this fabric came from Stony Creek. It's the same fabric for my spring picture, spring rejoice. So that's how far I got on that one. Quick and easy, fun to stitch on. Um, I also stitched on my love laugh, no, love family home from Little House Needleworks. This was a uh, kit that was promoted by Fat Quarter Shop. I changed the fabric. The kit had the floss and uh, pattern. Maybe that's all it was. And the floss ring. <clears throat> the fabric that I'm using is from Amazon and it is called khaki. The color is khaki. So um, in the last couple weeks I've done all the leaves on the trees and then last night I did this beginning for the bricks here. And that is how far I've gotten on that one. This one is easy to stitch on in my chair at night. I have an issue with sitting in my recliner and stitching. It messes with my back. So if I use smaller pictures that are easy to stitch, don't require a lot of color changing, then I'm doing pretty good. Sorry, that is my dog. Uh, so that is all of my whips. Yes, it is. So now I will move on to my haul. Um, I am in, I joined a club that is so much to love and it is a project bag club and this is the bag I got for September. I think it's beautiful. Is she on? I don't remember where to find her. Um, she puts something special in it every month and this month it was Twin Peak Primitives created a pattern especially to go with the September Bag Club and this is the pattern. I thought that was a lot of fun and then it also includes a bag of tea and some candy but then it came with this lace and little charm for finishing. So that was a lot of fun. I love project bags. <clears throat> I am in Fat Quarter Shop Stitch Quarterly Club and this is the bag for this month. And the kit is, oops sorry I bumped that, 
it's called Autumn Spice. And this was actually finished by Priscilla and Chelsea on that truck from Hobby Lobby. This is the picture. I'm probably going to make this a project bag because I think it's a perfect pattern for a project bag. And then it also came with came with fabric, which is their gingham pale gray gingham fabric, and came with floss. Love the colors of the floss. A needle minder and these thimble pads which are pretty cool and a needle I just found the needle it's like my fourth time in the bag and I just figured out there's a needle in there I'm also in two of their thread clubs and this is the NPI silk this is the first month I've gotten it so this is what they sent out in September and this is uh, Weeks Dye Works, which is the same kind of colors as, so it looks like they send the same colors. So that was fun. I also joined a fabric club that is Be Stitch Me. This fabric is 16 count Ada, and the color is called Garden Party. And it's a peachy fabric with a blue modeling on it. It's really pretty. I'll have to find something special to go with that. Um, and then at some point, I think this came from 123 Stitch when I was ordering fabric or something. I got this pattern by Jeanette Douglas, Summer by the Sea. I wish you could see the whole thing. You can only see like part of the picture. I don't know what it's going to look like, the whole thing. And then today, I went to my local needle workshop. It's an hour drive. And I drove up there to give myself a birthday present. I got some patterns. I got this pattern by Hands On Design. It's called Let's Talk Stitching. And I won't do it on black, but I really like it, and it'll probably end up being a project bag. Yeah, excuse me, my dog is whining. Don't know why. This one I think is really pretty. I was looking at the Victoria Sampler patterns, and this one says, I love my dog. And I love this pattern. It is so cool. And then I got, by Jeanette Douglas again, Four Season Sampler. I saw somebody on YouTube doing this. And I did. I had it on my wish list, and I saw it when I was there. So that's a lot of fun. And then another Jeanette Douglas that I found is called Spring Stitches. And they also had autumn, but they didn't have the summer and winter. So I just bought this one for now. Just spring. Got another Q-snap. I always need more Q-snaps. And the first thing I saw when I walked in the door was Project Bags. And I bought this one. I make Project Bags now, but I bought this one. You can probably tell why. It is beautiful. It's purple with pretty colors on it. It has a fun little pull on the zipper. But I just, this is what struck me. They had some really pretty um, fall and Halloween ones too. Uh, let's see. So I think that's it's all my haul and all my whips and all my starts. Um, I will have, as I said, two more starts this month. My um, Emma Congdon and my Fall, no, my Blue Gold Macaws. Um, and anything else I just decide that I want to start because I really like uh, starting pictures. I love kidding them and starting them. That's my favorite part. Uh, last time I did a drawing or a giveaway and this was one of the two I had two pieces of fabric they're both 36 count this is Charles Crafts Irish Linen um, I need to dig harder to find the other one but they were both going to one person the winner is Lise Gaines thank you Lise for watching my videos I do have your address so I will get these in the mail to you I think that's it for this video um, so I hope you enjoyed it I hope you'll come back Please excuse me for not looking in the right place. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to look. For it to make it look like I'm looking at you. Because when I look directly in the middle. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'll play with it for next time. I'm hoping this works better than my uh, camera.
camera in my laptop because that one always comes out kind of blurry. So thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.